guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Bianca Janelle. I make videos on a lifestyle, and today I have a skincare routine for you guys. It is my morning skincare routine. I love this routine. It helps just get my skin prepped and ready for the day. I go for very glowing products, very brightening products. So if you guys want to see my updated morning routine, then please keep watching. Okay, guys. So like I said in the intro, we are going to do my morning routine my morning skincare routine i just got back from the gym we went for a bike ride and i'm ready to shower so in the morning time i try to make it like as efficient as possible i did just film my nighttime routine so i'll link it right here for you guys i do a lot more steps in my nighttime routine than i do in the morning just because in the morning i'm trying to go quick and get to work basically so in the morning usually i wake up I don't wash my face. I go ahead and just rinse it with cold water just to wake myself up. And then lately I've been applying this, and then lately I've been applying this, simply this skin clarifying micro essence toner. I can't say if it's doing anything to my skin. I'm not really sure to be honest. Um, but I always hear that you should try to incorporate an essence into your routine and it, it really feels like water so I mean I just don't think it's doing any harm to my skin so anyways as soon as I'm done rinsing my face then I go ahead and I apply this and then I apply my holy grail serum it is the CBD jelly anti-blemish facial serum this really kind of helps combat the redness in your skin and I like applying it before I go to the gym because I kind of feel like it creates a barrier on my face that way my that way my skin isn't like super exposed the gym I mean not like it really matters but I just feel like I have a shield I don't know it makes me feel more comfortable um, and that's literally all I do before I go to the gym so when I get back then that's when I really get into my morning routine so like I said I'm gonna hop into the shower right now I use the I use the Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. It's just the original formulation. I use this to remove my mascara and my eyebrows, and then I hop into the shower. So I'm going to do that. I'm gonna put this on, hop in the shower, and then we'll finish our morning routine together. Okay, guys, I am out of the shower. Um, I did go ahead and do my hair, sort of. <laughs> um, but now we can continue with the skincare. So the first thing I like to do is use my red light therapy mask i've done a video and i've talked about all the benefits it helps stimulate collagen it just makes my skin a lot more glowy i try to use this a couple times a week um not every morning do i have enough time to do it every morning but if i set aside the time then i do go ahead and i put this on for even at least five minutes if i can if i'm having a good morning then i do it for 10. <laughs> Um, but it's just really easy to use. I got this mask off of Amazon. It has different light settings for different benefits. So yeah, if you guys want to see a whole video on that, I'll link it above and in the and in the description box down below for you guys. So I do that first. Next, I go ahead and I put on eye patches. I've been really into these lately. These are the multifunction formula snail repair intensive gold eye gel patch Ooh, mouthful i got these off of amazon i keep these in the fridge so they're nice and cooling they do kind of slip a little bit but a lot of the time once i put them on i go in with my eye massager and i really try to buff like the gel into my skin this also gives me all the benefits of under eye rolling it kind of drains out any excess fluid that that fluid buildup can lead to dark circles so that's why i try to drain it all out so i go ahead and i keep these on for at least like five minutes as well this really helps you puff the eyes are just super cooling and relaxing it's kind of like giving yourself a mini at home spa treatment i feel like i really like them and they were i think they were like 12 dollars and there are I think there's 30 or 60 in here um they've lasted a while i put these on every morning um that's already my second purchase of this i really like it um they even have like i think they even have like a rose one a cucumber one but these are the snail ones um i really like them and i feel like it sinks into my skin and my makeup applies on top of it really nicely too so that's why i like it so once i'm done you just go ahead and peel them off and throw them away now if you have any excess product 
you can go ahead and massage it in whether you use this little eye massager that I'm always raving about I'm always raving about it because it's only $12 I've had this for over a year and I always use it I really feel like this is what's helped with my dark circles because for a while they were pretty bad <laughs> I'm gonna be honest <laughs> so that was like my remedy to it I really feel like that's what helped work um, then I go in with a lip balm I've been loving the Laneige Berry Lip Glowy Balm. It has like a little hint of pink. So I like so I like wearing this underneath like lip gloss or lipsticks or anything like that. Just feels really moisturizing. It should be no surprise if you are not new to my channel what I do next. I go in with my ice roller. Again, I've done a whole video and tutorial on how I use my ice roller. It is from the Skin Confidential. I love this ice roller. It stays cold um i've been using it well since it first came out so i have been super obsessed with this i travel with this all the time this is a major must do in the morning i cannot skip this step one to get the benefits from an ice facial but two i feel like my makeup applies better and longer when i do this so i go ahead and i do this every morning this really helps drain out your face of any toxins of any bloat I feel like it helps to shape the face like I said this is like a non-negotiable even if I can only get it on my face for two to three minutes I go ahead if not then I go ahead and take my time and this is where I spend a lot of my time about five minutes rolling out my face and then actually I should just I'll do actually I'll just do a little tutorial on how to ice roll first start with your neck then go upwards and you drain in the back where your lymph nodes are do not drain it on your neck um because then you're just pushing down you want to drain up and back here this is really where you're able to drain out any fluids from your face so again just move this ice roller up again any facial tool that you use always think up and lift it that's the easiest way to remember how to go in the right direction using a skincare tool so I go ahead and I do this. I'm not gonna bore you guys and keep doing it even though this feels so good. And I also like right where I have the eye patch, I make sure to really buff it in there as well. So like I said, the eyes roll so like I said, the ice rolling is non-negotiable in the morning that I just feel like bloated and puffy if I don't do it and then it bothers me throughout the day. So I've learned like just do it, even if I can do it for a couple minutes, just get it in. So I always go ahead and do that. So those little treatments are more like my little spa treatments to get me going for the day i do say again this might seem like excessive in the morning but i do think that it starts your day off right so again you don't have to tell me i love to sleep i love to sleep in um but this makes me want to get up a little bit early because then i know how i feel throughout the day just like the way like if you don't eat a good breakfast and like the rest of your day you kind of feel a little off like it to me it's about starting your day off right and i'd rather start my day off right with the right skincare is something that makes me feel really good confident comfortable i'd rather do that first and then i feel good and ready for the day so that's just my little two cents on that so i so those are the major skincare tools that i use in the morning to get my skin prepped for the day now I go in with a under eye cream. Well, actually I use two. So I've been using the Tula Rose Glow and Get It. It's a cooling and brightening eye balm. I feel like it just kind of like highlights underneath your eyes. I'm gonna kind of show you guys right here. I don't know if you guys can see if it's catching it. Oh yeah, it's, catch it's catching it. It feels like a natural highlight under the eye. So I feel like this is what really wakes up the eye. If feels really good I do feel like it leaves a little bit of a cast so I just make sure and go in and buff it into the skin because if I don't then I feel like it leaves like a little bit of a cast then I go in with the summer Fridays light aura vitamin C peptide eye cream <laughs> these names are so long um this has been a new favorite i just love the way that it feels and i love the way that my makeup applies over it again 
just like the Tula Isaac, I feel like this gives my eye like a highlighted effect. You can already kind of tell with the light. It's very natural light. And again, my makeup just applies really nicely over it. So that is what I use underneath my eye. I really feel like that helps prep underneath my eye. Um, like I said, I felt like last year I was really suffering from dark circles. I'm on the computer all day, every day. Um, so I just feel like my eyes get really tired. So with that said, last year I felt like I paid a lot more attention to my under eye area, focused on it, and I feel like I have a really good routine. This is definitely worth it for under $12 off at Amazon. I think this is a must-have in your collection. I think I'm going to do a video pretty soon on must-have skincare tools. Um, even like I'll probably do from like, and I'll probably go ahead and like price it from low to high end. Um, because I do feel like a lot of these tools do help. A lot of times they help push the product deeper into the skin so that way you get all the benefits from it. So... Again, I think for like the past three videos, I raved about this. I rave about this all time. I rave about this all the time on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, you should. It's at Bianca Dr. Now. Um, yeah, if you're going to get anything from my morning routine, really, <laughs> buy this and invest in this. These two, I could not live without. Like, I just couldn't. <laughs> so then next, what do I do? Okay, so next I go ahead and I go in with a vitamin C serum. I've really been, been trying to incorporate this into my routine. Vitamin C is so good for you. I just recently started using this, uh, maybe about like two weeks ago. I really like it. Uh, I feel like my skin just feels like more brighter. I feel like it even feels more hydrated. So I go ahead and I buff this into my skin. Now with vitamin C, you want to let it sit on your skin for a bit. So don't go in right away with a moisturizer or anything. Kind of push the product into your skin. And then I go ahead and I try to wait about like at least three minutes before I go in with my moisturizer. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a break from that. So while we're waiting, what can I talk to you guys about? Uh, I can talk to you guys about tanner <laughs> um i'm like trying to find things on my counter i can talk about um uh tanner so as you can see i do not match i don't always tan my face i do have a face tanner that i do love it's from lux and filtered it is the number 12 bronzing face drops if i am going to tan my face i go ahead and i use these drops these are really good i just don't like applying these in the morning and then putting my makeup over it I rather just apply this at night, let it sit, and then the next morning I feel more glowing. But to be honest, I don't like tanning my face because I do so much to my skin um, with treatments, spot treatments and everything that I just feel like I, I wash it off right away like or I take it off with skincare right away. So it doesn't always make sense for me to tan my face. I rather just do it with my foundation and my bronzer to get my body to match my face. Um, so the only time I really tan my face is kind of when I go on vacation. Um, I tend to reach for it more in the summer because I'm not really wearing that much makeup. Um, but in the fall and winter is when I really start to play with makeup. I'm kind of wearing a little bit more heavier makeup sometimes. So like I said, I can just get my body to match my face with makeup. In the summertime when I just want something really light, um, then I'll start to tan my face more. But now going back to tanner. Um, the tanner, the self tanning cream that I've been using is Lux and Filter number 32. I think this is already my fifth bottle. I love it. It's the only thing that I use to tan. And recently I picked up the Lux and Filter number 10 body blur. This stuff is so good. I'll probably do an updated body care video. Oh, you know what? I want to do that soon. An updated body care video. I did it last year just like talking about my favorite lotions and body products, body oils. Um, so I'll probably do that next. Um, so I think I kind of talked for this ear off for a little bit. Now let's go in with the last step, which is moisturizer. The current moisturizer I've been using is the Ole Hendrickson Truth Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. 
I've been using this stuff forever. Again, you can go back to, you can go way back to some of my makeup tutorials. I love the way that this applies under makeup. Um, and or even when I'm not wearing makeup. So the reason why I reach for these products a lot, and I do really like the eye cream. Again, one of my favorites, I just recently got the Summer Friday ones. They're actually very comparable. Um, I can't say that one is more of my favorite. I just got this recently, so I've just been playing with it a little bit more, so I reach for it more. But I still love the Ule Henderson Brightening Cream. It does the exact same thing. It's just that the consistencies are, they're a little different, but you can see one kind of has more of a peach undertone. This one has kind of more of the yellow undertone. They're both just super brightening and highlighting under the eye. Um, like I said, I would recommend both. I don't think you can go wrong with either one and both apply beautifully under makeup. Um, but going back to moisturizer in the morning, this is the one I have been reaching for. I also do like the Summer Friday <laughs> Cloud Dew. This is another holy grail product of mine. Um, you can see I'm almost done with it. Again, this one applies really well under makeup. It's kind of just whatever I reach for, but because this is new, um, I reach for it a little bit more often as of right now. So I go ahead and I apply this onto my skin and just look at that highlighted effect. That is what I am seeking right now. I want this glow within look. Um, right now it's really dry out because of it being the winter season. My skin just feels a little bit more dry. So I'm reaching for products that are very glowy, very hydrating. I'm also getting older. <laughs> so with that said, I feel like my skin is just changing a bit. So before I used to be really oily um, and I still am, but I feel like my skin is kind of changing and I feel like it's becoming like a combo skin type where I get dry in the winter so like I said I'm just reaching for those products those glowing products a little bit more right now um well not right now I feel like <laughs> if I can foresee the future I will be reaching for those types because I feel like that's going to work what that's what's going to work best for my skin um and that is my morning routine I feel really prepped and just ready honestly I don't even have to wear makeup a lot of time. I'm working from home, so if I don't have to wear makeup that day, I won't. I will just let my skin speak for itself. I let it just glow <laughs> throughout the day. But if you are going to wear makeup, I do feel like it applies very beautifully and seamlessly with this routine. Like I said, I am dry. Like I said, I am oily, but my skin is changing to this combo type skin where I'm dry, and this is what's working for me personally. I feel like you can see this like very natural highlighted effect fact I love it I've been doing this routine for the past couple of months like I said because of the winter season and my skin has definitely changed um and I'll just mention it one more time these two are holy grail products this is what definitely makes a difference in my skincare routine it's not just the product it is the tools as well I feel like I feel like you could skip the red light that is a little bit excessive I will admit but the ice rolling and the under eye care, massive. I feel if I look tired, then my whole day I just look tired. I don't want to. I want to look awake and bright and glowy. So this is my skincare. So this is my skincare to do it. If you guys want to see a full on pamper routine, which is kind of something I talked about in my nighttime routine. Um, my nighttime routine, I did a very realistic of like products I use every day. Um, but in that, but with that said, I do have my pamper days where I go like full out, I shave my face, I micro needle, I do certain skin prep. If you guys want to see like a full on pamper luxe version, then leave it in the comments down below. And if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.